<laughs> Ted Lange uh, taking on a much more serious project. Uh. He has written and directed a new play called The Journals of Osborne P. Anderson. He's joining us here in the studio today. Yes. Are you tired of people asking you for drinks? I mean, that no, must be common, no, right? No, not at all, not at all. Like that Isaac. means they like you and they remember you. What's sure. wrong with that? Nothing's yeah. wrong with that. Nothing's wrong with a drink. Yeah, yeah, and nothing, well, I, I make them a little strong. <laughs> oh, another see, reason you do. people like me. Yeah, I can see why you're <laughs> such a popular bartender. That's right. Yes. But since The Love Boat, um, you really delve into history here. Would you consider yourself a historian or I, one I that... Call, I call myself a footnote historian, because what I do is I write about uh, African-American heroes in American history that white historians usually use as a footnote. But we were there at some major, major moments in American history. For instance, I wrote a play about George Washington's favorite slave, William Lee. I call it George Washington's boy. William Lee was with Washington every day of the American Revolution and carried his spyglass into battle. People don't know that. No. And when they're writing these movies, if you write a scene with George Washington, uh, William Lee should be him. somewhere in the room mm -hmm. because he was there. He was right. there. So what I do is I dig up these stories. The latest one is about Harper's Ferry and John Brown. And there were five black guys with John Browns, which usually gets overlooked. They talk about mm -hmm. John Brown and his uh, sons. Right. But there were five guys with him. Two black guys were killed on the first day of the ferry. Uh, two guys were hung with uh, John Brown. And one guy got away, and his name was Osborne P. Anderson. Mm. And so, that's where we get the story. Yeah, that's where we get the story. He and actually wrote a book uh, in 1861 while he was living in Boston about the event because there's a lot of misconceptions about what went on. But it was a moment in history that really sort of could have changed the course of history, right? Because they believed that it could have been a spark or a catalyst to the Civil War. Oh, yeah. It's often considered that, that it was the catalyst for the Civil War. And that's part of what my play deals with. But it also deals with the humanity of the men involved and women. You're talking about women earlier. I have some wonderful female characters that are real people that are, are part of the legacy of uh, American history and uh, Harper's Ferry. What mm -hmm. I love about Harper's Ferry is uh, there's like this all-star cast, like everyone you know from history makes a cameo in this thing. Yeah, yeah. You've it's, got it's, Robert E. Lee is at that the, time he was, was a, a colonel for the United States government. He's the one that shuts it down, right? He, he is the one that captured John Brown at the ferry. His right-hand man was Jeb Stewart. He's the one that actually went in and tried to negotiate with Brown. Uh, John Wilkes Booth was there at the ferry. Mm -hmm. He wanted to see the hanging, and uh, he joined the of Jefferson Guard. Yeah. <laughs> when he saw it, he begged to see the, uh, the hanging. When he saw it, he threw up. Huh. You know, I mean, so there's all these little known facts, and I and what I do asked, is like, I weave them together in a story. Harriet mm -hmm. Tubman was asked to be a part of this. Harriet Tubman, uh, yes. Frederick Douglass, Frederick right? Douglass's bodyguard was one of the guys at the ferry. Wow. And so we go into his history and his character and his interplay with John Brown and what went down. Wow. It's, it's absolutely, it our history is so wonderful and people just brush right over it. There are wonderful human stories in the making of America. And that's what I try to do is I try to get the humanity out of our history and follow the people, the heart of the people that took place in, in these events that sometimes are overlooked by historians. Mm -hmm. Speaking of a uh, cast of characters, so we've seen, you guys all got together, the Love Boat, the whole cast got together over the New Year's holiday, right? We were in the flow. Rose Bowl parade. Right? Nice. Yes. So you still talk to each other. You know, it's so funny because this day and age when you see TV shows, it's almost like not everybody really gets along. And, oh, no, no, no. And, we got along. We, we loved each other. for 10 years. Yeah, yeah. We, love, we still stay in contact. Bernie's been in my plays. Bernie was in the George Washington play. Wow. So, no, we're friends. Uh, we, was he a we, doctor? Huh? No, no, he wasn't a doctor. But he was, he was a good guy. Yeah. No, he, no, he was a, 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 a. Washington had a slave that ran away named Oni Judge. And uh, Bernie's character was a character that tried to get her to go back to see Washington, to go back and be a slave. Wow. Really yeah. quick, I, we don't have that much time, but what do you think about what's going on now? Um, the tensions that are happening across our country between African American communities and the police yeah. and the kind of yeah. sanitizing. We did a story on um, Ben Affleck about how he found out one of his ancestors owned slaves and he wanted it kind of wiped from the record. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's the problem with what's going on is that people try to rewrite history and you, you should embrace it. I mean, Ben Affleck is not his. 
his great grandfather. He's who he is, and what, what the, particularly, but you see the roots of things. For instance, in my play, you see the roots of what's going on now, where they say this kid was throwing himself up against the police van and he broke his neck. Mm -hmm. That's what they're saying. Right. Well, that's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And what what this play, what my play does, it takes other things. You're going to sit there and you're going to say, well, that's ridiculous. But no, at the time, at that moment in time, people were trying to sell that. And so what you do get a relationship between what is going on today and what, what our where past is. Yeah, where, sure. where it came from. So it's a fascinating All thing. All right, here's Ted's play, The Journals of Osborne P. Anderson. It opens May 15th, a week from today, and runs through June the 28th at the theater on West Pico in Los Angeles. Shows are on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. And you can go on to uh, that website, www.brownpapertickets.com. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. That was tickets. wonderful. Thank you, Isaac. Thank okay, you. no problem. <laughs> well, let's go have a drink. That let's do it. <laughs> never ask. You stay put. Okay. Uh, coming up, though, one.